Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony will begin in five minutes. Please silence all cell phones and other electronic devices for the duration of this ceremony. In consideration of those around you, we ask that you please remain seated and in the bleachers during the ceremony until all soldiers have passed the reviewing stand and the conclusion of the ceremony is announced. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Commanding General, Brigadier General Jason E. Kelly, and the Post Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Eric Oakes, welcome to the United States Army Training Center in Fort Jackson for the graduation of companies Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, and Echo from the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, 193rd Infantry Brigade. Please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Lovejoy. My friends, I invite you to pray with me. Dear Lord and Father God, we are grateful for this opportunity that we have to gather today to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of these graduating soldiers from this storied battalion. And so today, God, we pause to give you thanks for your provision, for your strength given to them and to those who have trained them over the last 10 weeks. We're grateful for their dedication, for their motivation, for the discipline instilled in these new soldiers across the course of basic combat training. Father God, as these trainees overcome, overcame hardship, anxiety, fear, they have earned the right to truly call themselves U.S. Army soldiers and are now fit to go and live as examples of the Army value. Father God, we gratefully ask you and ask your blessing upon this ceremony, upon the families gathered here together. May today's celebration and reunion be a joyous one. May you continue to bless us, bless our military, and bless the United States of America is our prayer. In your holy name, amen. Please be seated. The purpose of today's ceremony is to recognize the commitment of the men and women you see here who have chosen to serve their country as soldiers. Not everyone successfully completes this difficult period of training. Far fewer are able to accept the challenges and difficulties that come with the life of a career soldier. But those in formation today represent disciplined, motivated, physically fit soldiers who exemplify the Army's seven core values, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. They are imbued with the warrior ethos and display the tenets of putting the mission first, never accepting defeat, never quitting, and never leaving behind a fallen comrade. This is an important day, and these soldiers can take great pride in their accomplishments. To the parents, families, and friends of these soldiers, Fort Jackson extends a very warm and sincere welcome. We are truly honored that the next generation standing on this field have chosen to join our ranks. Please direct your attention to the left of the formation. The units marching today from your left to right are the 282nd Army Band under the direction of First Sergeant David Newcomb. Graduating soldiers from Company Alpha, Bravo, the Battalion Color Guard, and graduating soldiers from Companies Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Identified by their distinctive headgear are the drill sergeants. These dedicated non-commissioned officers form the backbone of the Army's training center system, selected based on professional competence, leadership ability, and years of service. These men and women undergo intensive training to earn the right to wear their distinctive hat and insignia. 
With the drill sergeant hat goes the important responsibility of molding civilian men and women into soldiers. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Major Tiffany Tompkins, who serves as the executive officer for the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment. She and the battalion staff are positioned on the field. The reviewing officer for today's graduation is the commander of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony A. Messenger. On his left is Command Sergeant Major Stephen Gudiel, the battalion's senior non-commissioned officer, master trainer, and principal advisor to the commander. The commander of troops will now bring forward the colors and persons to be honored. Competence and commitment are the hallmarks of professionalism. The soldiers and drill sergeant coming forward will be recognized for their excellence in training and duty performance and serve as examples to all. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the National Anthem. It is appropriate for soldiers in uniform and all Armed Forces veterans to salute the American flag. We ask our civilian guests to please remove your headgear and place your right hand over your heart as our National Anthem is played. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. The soldiers most responsible for the training of these soldiers are the drill sergeants who are carefully selected by the Department of the Army. The drill sergeant campaign hat and badge have been a stoic symbol of professionalism and pride since 1962. At this time, 
the Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for Charlie Company, 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Staff Sergeant Dallas Trimble, will recite the Drill Sergeant Creed. We ask that all Drill Sergeants, past and present, please stand for the reciting of the Drill Sergeant Creed. Drill Sergeant Creed, I am a Drill Sergeant. I will assist each individual and their efforts to become a highly motivated, well-disciplined, physically and mentally fit soldier capable of defeating any enemy on today's modern battlefield. I will instill pride in all I train, pride in self, in the army, and in country. I will insist that each soldier meet and maintain the military standards of bearing and courtesy consistent with the high traditions of the U.S. Army. I will lead by example, never require a soldier to attempt any task that I would not do myself. But first, last, and always, I am an American soldier sworn to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, both foreign and domestic. I am a drill sergeant. This will defend. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Messenger, Command Sergeant Major Stephen Goodiel will now present the awards. The Outstanding Drill Sergeant of the Cycle for 113th Infantry Battalion is Drill Sergeant Dallas Trimble from Beaver, Ohio. The Soldier Leader of the Cycle for Alpha Company is Specialist David Amos from Virginia Beach, Virginia. The Soldier of the Cycle for Alpha Company is Specialist Keith Atkinson from Washington, Utah. The soldier leader of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private First Class Timothy Palmer from Marlboro, New Jersey. The soldier of the cycle for Bravo Company is Private First Class Jordan Watson from McCreary, Kentucky. The soldier leader of the cycle for Charlie Company is Specialist Terrence Banks from Winchester, Virginia. The soldier of the cycle for Charlie Company is Private Aiden Schollmeyer from Omaha, Nebraska. The soldier leader of the cycle for Delta Company is Private First Class Larry Johnson from West Palm Beach, Florida. The soldier of the cycle for Delta Company is Private Wesley Brown from Trenton, South Carolina. The soldier leader of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Brianna Roche from Fairfax, Minnesota. The soldier of the cycle for Echo Company is Private Ahmed Rashid from Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Messenger. Good morning. Brigadier General Kelly, Colonel White. 
Command Sergeant Major Duncan, Commanders and Command Sergeants the Major, distinguished guests, families, and friends of the 1st Battalion, 13th Infantry Regiment, thank you for attending today's ceremony. On behalf of the U.S. Army Training Center and Commanding Gen Fort Jackson Commanding General, Brigadier General Kelly, and the U.S. Army Training Center and Fort Jackson Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Oaks, welcome to Fort Jackson, where we make American soldiers. To the families in the audience today, thank you. Thank you for trusting us with your loved ones and supporting their decision to serve our nation. It is my privilege to officially welcome you both to the Army and the Vicksburg family. I am honored to present uh, these remarks today at your soldiers' graduation ceremony. It was truly a rewarding experience watching this diverse group of citizens transform into a cohesive team of talented soldiers. America is the great nation it is today because of the sacrifices of generations of service members and their families who have fought to sustain our freedoms. These great men and women, some of whom made the ultimate sacrifice, volunteered to serve at a time and place in history when their nation needed it most. The blood, sweat, and tears shed on the battlefield and on the home front is the reason we are able to assemble here today and celebrate the accomplishments of the soldiers on the field. Today, we welcome 955 of America's newest soldiers to our ranks. I'd like to take some time first to thank all our veterans and retirees of our armed services past and present in the audience. You especially know the significance of what these soldiers have accomplished. Thank you for attending today. Please stand and be recognized. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in a round of applause. I'd be remiss, but I'd have mentioned that none of us actually serve alone. Our families serve right along with us and make sacrifices along the way. Thank you all for supporting your soldier, and thank you to all our military families, both past and present here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for our military families. Out on the field today alongside our soldiers is a 282nd band. We have the absolute privilege of having the best band in the Army right here at Fort Jackson. Can you please join me in a round of applause for this great band? <laughs> the next group of individuals that I would like to recognize are my cadre. This talented group of staff officers, non-commissioned officers, platoon leaders, commanders, and first sergeants work tirelessly so this battalion accomplishes its mission. Their efforts often get overlooked because they are quiet professionals that work in the background to make all of this possible. Please join me in a round of applause for my cadre. <laughs> now I want to thank the backbone of this battalion, the drill sergeants. Those of us that have been in the Army remember how demanding basic combat training was as a trainee. The hours of practicing rifle marksmanship, the intense physical training, the constant stress. What we do not appreciate is that through it all, our drill sergeants were there every step of the way. They're up in the morning preparing before the trainees wake up, and they only go home after the last trainee is in his or her rack. They do this cycle after cycle. Their level of dedication and selfless service is truly impressive. I would like to take a moment to recognize this team of professionals and their families that support them. Thank you for a job well done. A little over 10 weeks ago, the soldiers you see before you left home. Some of them left for the very first time. They left as civilians. They left as your sons or daughters, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, and grandchildren. You sent them to us. You trusted us to house them, to feed them, but also to train them and make them better. Now, they stand before you transformed. On the 30th of May, 1,040 trainees began this journey. 955 soldiers stand before you here today. Here are some interesting facts about this diverse group. The youngest soldier is 17. Our oldest is 41. They come from every state, the U.S. territory, 
41 different countries and represent five continents. Places like the Bahamas, Burma, American Samoa, Syria, Cameroon, Ethiopia, Brazil, Nigeria. From coast to coast, Hawaii and Alaska too, we've got them in the formation. There are soldiers in this formation with associate's degrees. We have 27. We have 53 bachelors, 10 masters, and two doctorates. We have 65 soldiers in this formation that are now American citizens. Despite their unique and diverse background, what unites all of them is that each one of them, for their own unique reasons, answered the call. They raised their right hand and swore an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Ladies and gentlemen, the soldiers standing on the field today represent the very best this nation has to offer. They are disciplined, physically fit, mentally tough, intelligent, and resilient. They know how to be good teammates. Time and time again, throughout some very tough training, they demonstrated they're up to the task of defending our nation. Command Sergeant Major Gudiel and I are extremely proud and I will sleep easy knowing the future of our great army rests in their capable hands. To the soldiers on the field, Team Vicksburg, this is my last opportunity to address you as your commander, and I want to leave you with a few thoughts before you continue on your army journey. You made it. You did not quit. You showed the grit and determination it takes to be a soldier. You do not quit on yourself. You do not quit on your teammates. You do not quit on your nation. I am proud to count you all among the ranks. You should be proud of what you accomplished. Take some time to enjoy this moment. It is a critical milestone in the life of a soldier. But always remember, the business of uh, defending our nation does not stop. And we will need you to get right back at it tomorrow. Set your goals high. The Army is one of the very few true meritocracies in the world. Over the course of your career, you will have countless opportunities to advance and excel. You just have to put in the hard work and take advantage of them. Only you can stop you. And finally, from the first day you arrived in the battalion, you have been saying our unofficial motto. That motto is hard work, the response is dedication. You have exemplified those two words over the course of your training. Always remember, it's hard work and dedication that got you here, and it's hard work and dedication that will help you overcome any of your future challenges. I am proud of all of you.